Good. So, good morning, everybody. Let's start with uh, just a tonalization if you want, okay? So the last 
last one, you bounce really far away. Okay, so you go do that do, 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 You guys can work on it this week. 
but what I wanted to have a look at is uh, the double stuff. So I only gave you the first two pages, so you can <coughs> lose your mind. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there's two more pages of this. Okay, all right. And, uh, but you'll see it's the same tune over and over again. What's different is just the uh, transitions between the sections. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the double stops. Uh, let's do the, just the first line. So the first line is basically...
can we do uh, just the bottom notes? So we're not playing the whole thing yet. And then 
the house steps are too small, and then it gets gradually out, really out of tune. Okay, so just watch out that you don't that you move your finger in and out from the low one to the high, uh, high one, and the low two to high two. Okay, all right. So do you want to hear what's going on in the actual tune here? Let's try seventeen.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not from so let me see what that is.
Uh, second bend is just watch out. Uh, third line, second bar. Second note is an E flat, not an E natural. Let's hold that in. There you go.
So it's mostly the second violins that are doing the division of that, okay?
Yeah, can we do bottom of the first page? Last line, second bar. <coughs>
Okay, so can you write at the top of your part, both, both parts, uh, separate eight notes that you attached? Okay. Put a space between each note. Snowshoes, not shoes. All right, okay, good. Thank you so much, you guys. And uh, don't forget to review your Baccarini if you're on this side and to look at the Baccarini duet if you're on that side.